hello guys welcome to my channel today I'll be unboxing and reviewing a uh, electric jigsaw from black and decker it's one of the few higher models available in India as you can see it's 600 watts and MRP is 5800 and it also come with uh, 10 plus uh, jigsaw saws and it's one of the few models which I got uh, from Amazon for a really good deal of 2400 rupees and it's just mentioned 10 plus but uh, actually there are 13 blades included along with a hard plastic uh, storage and carry case now you can see all the basic specifications given on the back in different languages now we're gonna quickly unbox it and take it out Now Amazon did a great job shipping it without any breakage or dents. First thing we see is the warranty card. Uh, it should be stamped and signed by the seller or dealer. It's not there. Uh, they included a service center location all around India. All the cities and districts are there. So if you have a problem, you can visit them for warranty and claim repair purposes. And lastly is the user manual. Now, although it looks a big fat user manual but actually it has like f six seven pages in English other are in different languages so it gives a you know simple uh, picture uh, description like how to install and get started so, uh, basic safety measures and specifications everything is there As you can see, uh, this is a pendular, a pendulum motion uh, jigsaw machine. And there is a knob on the body which you'll see, and these are like uh, depending on the thickness and the material, uh, you have to adjust the knob and do it. As I'll be showing you later on. Now it's a fairly good quality plastic case. It has got some uh, texture on it and branding logo on. Now since this is one of the higher models variant of the jigsaw, there are some lower ends also which cost like 1500, 1600 rupees but you don't get neither the extra 30 blades nor the carry key. So I chose this over it because it will be easier to store and use. Jigsaw supports both U shank and T shank jigsaw blades. Well, I'm not a woodworker, I just bought it for you know cutting some metal rods and pipes here and there, uh, sometimes cutting through ply board. Now, it also has a beveling uh, you know, metal slab attached at the base so you can uh, make. Uh, 
cuts at different angles and here's the locking mechanism oh, so that when you're like cutting through it doesn't slip and changes the angle good thing they have uh, included a, a marker and a protector kind of gadget so you can see at what angle you're setting the B leveler at mm, I'm sorry I'm not a woodworker but uh, if someone someone is watching you feel free to you know correct me if I'm wrong so this is the locking mechanism it locks into place it's simple no tools required and the best thing is uh, it's one of the free single hand uh, locking mechanism for the blade I mean it doesn't require any kind of torque screw or anything so I'm doing this for the first time so let's hope it works uh, blade should be facing outwards as I've seen in other videos pull the lever back just put it in and it locks into place to take it out just pull the lever up and it releases so those who are professional woodworkers or carpenters uh, they can easily you know, make good use of this tool now that was a T shank and on top you can see it's a U shank as the name suggests I don't know exactly what the you know advantages but apparently online I've searched like there are the two main varieties available and both seems to work fine and now coming to the knob over there uh, this is the uh, vacuum cleaner port you know if you have a industrial size of vac any vacuum cleaner uh, this is my black and decker vacuum cleaner so while you're cutting wood you can directly connect it and turn on the vacuum cleaner and it will uh, suck in all the dust without getting your place a uh, workshop messy Now this is the trigger button with the lock and if you are, you are continuously cutting through uh, large pieces of uh, sorry cardboard or wood or whatever you are cutting through. Now this is the pendulum jigsaw so this has this uh, swinging motion will be there so zero is like no swinging motion just a regular jigsaw. I'll be connecting and I'll show you and at a slower speed. I've set the speed to one, the slowest. The trigger doesn't have a speed control. Now if you press it hard or soft, we get the same speed. Uh, to maintain uh, the speed, you just have to roll the dial. The maximum it goes is 7. This is the high speed. Uh, let's check out the pendulum motion. Hope you can see. But it will be much more uh, prominent when you're cutting through a material. So basically, it does is like while you're cutting through a thick uh, piece of wood or cardboard or metal, it will make a backward and forward jerky motion, as you can see that metal lever. So making it easier and faster to cut through it than regular saw. So this was just a quick unboxing and overview of the uh, gadget. Uh, hope you guys like my video. If you have any suggestions, you can leave it in the comments and subscribe to my channel, guys. Thanks.